Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get the highest FPS possible using some simple tricks and mods to boost your FPS in Minecraft. All of the downloads will be in the description and while you're down there, make sure to subscribe, no pressure though. Okay, so the first mod that you're going to be needing is called Sodium. This is basically like Optifine but just kind of better. It can even get twice as much FPS as Optifine. Only thing is though is you can't use them both together because Optifine is for Forge and this is a fabric mod sadly. So what you're going to need to do is you go to the website down in the description uh, and you can go to versions and then just download whatever the latest version is. This tutorial is for 1.19.2 specifically but you can do it in versions all the way back to 1.16. Okay. Next thing we'll need is the fabric mod loader. This will help you load the mod, which will make the game faster. You can install it by going to this website um, and you can download it. And then you can install it just like you'd install Forge or any other version or Optifine or anything like that. If you do not know how to do this or install mods in any way on Minecraft, don't worry, I will have a video up in a few days explaining how to do it but until then you could maybe just watch some other youtuber do it or something last we have the fabric api which goes with the fabric mod loader and it just helps it work better uh, some mods need it some mods don't though so that's the only thing other thing is is you can actually play other fabric mods with the performance optimizer you can play it with sodium which is really pretty good um, fabric API right now up to 1.19.2 just like this and just like this so everything works together make sure though, if you're playing on an older version you make sure to download the right version of the mods okay see you in game to show you how it works hi everyone okay so here we are in game currently our FPS is at for a second there it was 600 Yep, 600 FPS. If we look up, it's actually higher than that because when you open the F3 menu, it actually goes down. So, if you played this in 1.16, it would obviously go faster. So, if you are looking to just get the best frame rate, that's what you should do. But we can get higher than that amount of FPS, okay? And what you need to do is you need to go to options. You need to go to, hang on. You need to go to video settings and you need to go to here. You want to change your render distance down to 2. This will look terrible but if you really want the, um, the highest FPS that's what you can do. The higher is the worse um, performance is, the lower is the better. So if you still want it to look good but you want to also performance, you should put it to 6. But for now we're going to be putting it to 2 because this is the max FPS video. Same with simulation distance, I don't know why it's at 5 and not 2, but there you are. UI skill, this doesn't matter. Build screen, I heard something about putting it in windowed mode makes it faster, so I'm going to turn that off. Probably doesn't matter too much though. View bobbing doesn't matter, attack integrator doesn't matter, none of that stuff matters. We want to change the graphics to not fabulous, fast. Out, off, weather, fast, leaves quality fast. Particles, minimal, um, smooth lighting, off. Biome blend, zero. Entity distance, as low as it goes. Entity shadows, off. Fignet, off. And you want to change um, map levels down to zero. You want to change your performance settings, so chunk updates. Uh, higher this is, the faster it will render chunks. Lower it is, faster it will be for performance. And I don't think this really matters. But if you really want the highest FPS, you can turn it on. This, leave it on. This, um, this will, you want to turn it on. Um, just leave all of these on. Um, animate only visible textures, save lots of memory. Uh, advanced. 
If you're using older graphics drivers that are very old computer, you want to change this to swap mode. Definitely do not do this if you're on a newer system and you've got the latest drivers. So change it to async if you have. Persistent mapping. Um, I don't know if this really matters. I think you should just leave it on. Uh, just leave this as it is. It doesn't, I don't even know how this works. You want to leave this on and then you hit apply. And then here we are. And as you can see now, nice and optimized. You can only see like 15 blocks in front of you. And it do doesn't look the best actually, if you think about it. You could do something similar on like this on Optifine. You'd get similar results, but apparently sodium is twice as fast as Optifine. So if we look now, we're getting 1,300 FPS or it would be 1,300 FPS, but when you open the FP menu again, it slows it down. So if we go back to here and then we do this, look, it says 1,600. It's just because when you open the FP menu, it actually slows down the game. So it says that number, but it's not actually, it's actually 16, 1,600. And the other thing is, is if you fly up very, very far, only for, if you want to get the absolute maximum performance this is because you can't play the game like this you go up very high you press F1 and then you check the FPS FV actually you can't as you could see it was actually up all the way up at 2000 there so let's see if you can get it even higher yep 2300 I think that was so if you really wanted to, you could fly all the way up here and get super high FPS. Obviously, if you've got a higher end system than me, you could theoretically get higher. Or you could even make it look worse. You could add a 1x resolution, maybe 4x resolution texture pack. And it would look terrible, but you could do that. You could also maybe add a few more performance mods. Don't really know any other than Sodium and Octafine. But Yep, this is it for now. I might do an updated tutorial sometime, well, a long time away when some things improve in terms of performance for Minecraft. But for now, that's it. See you guys in the next video. Bye.